While Revit out of the box has very powerful capabilities, utilization of the API has yielded very powerful, useful plugins to boost the productivity of AC professionals. Take a look at the apps.autodesk.com website. The App Store is full of tools and suites of tools to assist and automate many common processes and obscure processes. You can see here among the more popular apps include aligning topography, their dimension tools, their other administrative tools, and uh, I definitely encourage you to take a look at this and to get a deeper understanding of the vast range of capabilities that the API can yield. Some of the work that I've done myself with Meiji is includes retail and space planning automation, which is what we will go into later and develop our own version of this. The idea essentially is to take a series of parameters and output a layout based on those parameters for a retail pad site. Another tool that I developed is a multifamily layout generation tool. It reads through previous iterates through previous models of multifamily units and understands the layouts and floor plans and allows you to draw boundaries for a unit and automates the layout based on the previous layouts and building code regulations. Another fun one that I've done is the site plan generation tool. Similarly, it takes a series of inputs mainly the land development code for a certain jurisdiction, and you place other constraints and site elements, and it generates a space that, that allows for the development of accessory dwelling units, among other things. There's a restroom layout automation tool, which, as it mentions, automates the layout of commercial uh, tenant restrooms, uh, very parametric size. It also works on residential bathrooms and restrooms. And uh, using a series of lines and boundaries, it will start placing your plumbing walls and then fixtures. Also, relying on the use of lines and uh, certain constraints is the casework design tool. All it does is you draw the boundaries of walls or or otherwise, and the casework takes a certain set of parameters and your preference for design and lays out those spaces and also places elevations for those views. More commonly used and more mundane is a sheet setup tool. There are many versions of this on uh, the App Store. Similarly, adhering to various standards, lots of different ways to do that. And I definitely recommend you take a look at these tools. One of my favorite ones is that I've developed is the Facade Elevation Design Generation Tool. It's a quick machine learning project. And what it does is it takes from a data set that was trained on a uh, convolutional network. And it abstracts various elements from those photos of a facade, building facade. And it outputs that information into a Revit model. As mentioned before, we will be building a plugin which automates the layout of a retail store. This tool will focus on developing the exterior bounding walls, the ceiling and wall heights, as well as the placement of furniture and light fixture. Here is an example of the script after it's ran, with the exception of a few ceiling elements and walls removed. Here is a sample of finished script, all 700 or so lines. So we could just run through how this would go. Click on the icon that you will have placed and loaded, deployed within Revit 2018. And the fields that it gives you the options to fill out are the bays length, which uh, gives you the dimensions of the bays as it spans the length of the space. Similarly, with base width, you input a series of numbers and it gives you how the width of the base would span the space. The wall heights, you would have ceiling heights, storefront distance from the front, the option to include a back left door or rear right door, 
There the pull down allows you to choose the shelving type as you see on the edges and perimeter. Similar with the table types. The number of tables going uh, lengthwise in the space and the spacing of those. Similarly, the width, the number of tables wide and the widthwise spacing between them. You will have the ability to uh, choose a number that gives you the offset from the front for the tables. Also, you can choose the size of the television, the light fixtures, the primary one, and the secondary one. And then upon clicking go, you end up with a finished model. So let's actually run through the tool with the inputs as they would be filled. Here you see the fields have been filled out with the information. I will check and manipulate a few parameters. Run the tool. And there you go. It has the ceilings placed at their appropriate height. It has the walls located in the shelving and then the various light fixtures that we have selected and opted for.